Hello everybody, I'm Sifu Lawrence Hill. Uh, today we're going to be discussing three types of strategies for self-defense uh, and real-life uh, combat situations. The first one will be attacking first when a person is standing in front of you and you actually come out and unleash an attack on them. The second one will be working off the person's attack, which means they'll be coming at you throwing something or holding a weapon or whatnot, and you're going to work off of that on your attack. And the next one, and the last one, is the one that I prefer, which is attacking at the same time, which works on a lot of legal uh, positioning as well, as far as the person still holding the weapon or uh, coming at you. It works um, as far as just being able to move against somebody as they're coming at you, so it also helps with the legal uh, applications uh, for law enforcement. Um, <clears throat> if you disarm somebody and then you hit them, after you disarm them, you're liable. So attacking at the same time has a lot of benefits, and it's mostly what I used in real life situations as well. And we'll be discussing viewing, how to view your opponent, and range in all of those attacks, and understanding how you would actually step into an attack and move your feet and your arms to get yourself in and out of a situation. Attacking your opponent first, first line of attack, first line of defense, is when you feel really threatened and you're going to make the first move. How you launch from that first move also goes into working off a person's attack and attacking at the same time. But attacking first, it's how you launch that's going to be really important. How you step into that combat zone and what you're viewing on the person. A T formation, so you can see the arms and you can see the legs, and you specifically have to have a target area. So your punch or your kick has to go to the place that you target. Within a small circle. And it has to be somewhere in there. It can't be like you're missing uh, very far off of it. Stay within that realm. So my launch off attack is going to be the step, move my body to, and throw. My launch off attack is going to be step, move my body to, and throw. I'm not going to be coming in and going past, sending my general into battle. I'm not going to be kicking by leaning my body back. If I'm kicking, everything is straight and moving from here. For this, I'll give a demonstration with instructor Ben Brown. Ben takes a stance. Now what I'm looking for here visually is how I'm stepping, viewing what's going on. I see his teeth, his armament. I see where he's vulnerable and where I want to go to first, right? I could come out with a blocking going in, which means I'm covering to throw a punch or blocking going in, covering here to throw a kick or to come to the knee. I'm going to line up my body to it. So on my attack, my range can't be here coming in close and bringing myself in or coming around. I'm going to have to watch my posture. My position is moving to. If I take a big step, I move to the step and punch, right? That was too big for me. From here, it's a little teeny step. Move and launch. My launching technique is just coming from here. Launching technique from here. So now I'm going to target, say with a chop to his eye socket, right? And then a cross punch to the face, right? If I'm going to target low to the midsection just with my hands, I'm going to come up here, watch the blocks here. I'm not going to bend into it. My target is going to come here, right from here I'm punching. Not coming down, not giving anything away. My eyes are moving in my sockets. If I'm coming in with coverage, Right, coming in with coverage, right, coming in from here, motion, this, and move, right, go to the hands, right, coming in, motion, and move. I'm not going to overstep. If I slightly overstepped on that, I'm not going to have to reach. I come up straighter and move. And I can also come back with my attack. So, launching here, out, launching here. Out, launching here, out. All right, so we talked about the first line of defense, which is attacking first, um, which you have to feel that you're really being threatened and that you have to attack first. Uh, you don't want somebody coming up and asking for the time and hit them in the head. I don't want to get a misconception on that. Uh, attacking first is seeing what you have to do, and there could be movement in that attack as well. A person, once a person stops, that's where you launch your attack. We'll get into those 
methods and those things and principles in further videos. On this one here, it's going to be working off an opponent. Now, working off an opponent, Ben, can I use you again? You're going to be using, he takes a fighting stance, right? You're going to be using basically what you're going to uh, be doing is your first, he's going to be coming at me. He's going to be throwing something. I'm going to be working off of that, whatever he's going to throw. The first thing you want to do is line yourself up to your opponent. So you see a lot of people when they fight, they're fighting with their hands down here. You know, they're fighting, just fighting here. You want to look at what you are lining up to that person as far as how you're attacking or what off of their attack. So I'm using again the same T, but how I want to see it, if this hand is here, this hand is lining up to this hand, it's lining up to this hand, this one is focusing more on this one, right? My, my legs, in uh, martial arts we use our legs a lot uh, in the style I teach from the systems within systems. I use my legs to block and to move in, all right? Okay, so from here we'll get into videos with that as well. From here, I'm lining myself up so I can see where his attack is going to come. So if he throws something, this is what I'm going to be working off of. If he throws a combination, my hands are just here, and this is what I'm going to move off of. When a person extends out, extends out, when they come back, that's my doorway in. If I'm going to be working, he throws something, I'm moving here, this is where I'm going to be moving off of, right? So say he throws a kick, I don't want to be doing this here, right? If he throws a kick, I'm moving here and I'm still lined up. So if he goes kick, then punch here, this is where I'm going to be walking in on him. So throw something, Ben. This is the motion here. This is coming in here. If it's out of range, he throws it and I move. I could see that that's not a threat. If he comes back, this is where I'm following in. Again, on the first part where we're attacking, if he throws and he can't reach, he comes back. This is my way in. This is my movement in. If he throws and I can move in on it, then I'm going to move in on it. If he throws, then I'll move in on it, right? So my motion, as far as basic attacks, still the cross, lining up, he throws, all right, so throw, try to hit me and throw a couple of punches, right? I'm right here. I didn't do anything. So now if he does the same, don't hit me on this one, okay? Now if he does the same and he's throwing, <coughs> you see where I'm running for the punches? This is a mistake. They come to you. So if he's standing, he's throwing, I'm here. So the punches are coming around, they're nicking, they're light. If he throws, this is where you got to work off of. And my motion is just moving from here to here. If he throws, my motions are moving from here to here. So attacking often a person, as we get into further videos, when we get into knives, hammers, and whatnot, you're going to see more how that works. Again, the T, if he's throwing, I'm just here. I'm not, he's throwing, I'm not going like this here, trying to stop it. He throws, boom, right, right? And you saw the other block was coming over here. And this is where you start to move. Okay, we talked about attacking first. We talked about working off the attack. Now we're going to take those two strategies and we're going to combine it into attacking at the same time. It works the same way. It may even look similar on camera uh, working off of the person. But really, you're launching your attack at the same time the person is launching their attack, but you're using the same principles, say, with the T, with lining your body up to it. We'll do it a little bit slower, and then I'll have them come out fast so you could see stepping into it a little bit and how that works, right? So again, we're going to use instructor Ben Brown. He's going to have a ready position. All our positions usually on the street are going to start from here until it comes into actual physical movement coming up. But your first attack's going to be from here. So again, if Ben just sticks his arm out, as he goes back, go back again. As he goes out, I'm stepping and I'm lining up to that. So I am working off the attack, but I'm also attacking with it. I'm not sitting here as he throws and, and moving off of it. He's coming out and I'm moving right into the attack, which is my favorite way to attack or fight. Um, if he throws something else, I'm moving into it, right? You could see I'm like stepping in. He comes in here, All right? Go ahead, throw it, Ben. And I'm moving into the motion, right? Coming in, if he throws, I'm moving into the motion. I'm not sitting here, he throws, 
and coming here, he throws, I'm moving into the motion. I'm coming right in on him. Okay, so also on these type of attacks, if he's punching fast by lining up, Ben punches pretty quickly. And if I'm attacking, give a demonstration, when he throws, I, you know, I'm coming in this way. It's not, it's not, that's not cool. If he throws, you see, I'm stepping to it. Because I'm lined up with him, I see how his body's moving. So say he throws one, two, right? I'm lined up to it, but I'm also moving into the attack, but I'm not moving in this way. So he throws, this, this is where I'm gonna be motion, moving off of. He throws, right, right, right? He throws, right? I'm coming in, he throws, I'm coming in. So my motion, my movement is just as he attacks. Boom, boom, boom. I'm motion in. That's attacking at the same time. We're sitting here, we're fighting, he comes in. I'm, I'm coming, right? If it goes, he throws, and he throws again. This is all movement that comes in and works off of the attack. Okay, we just went through the different strategies. Attacking first, working off the attack, and attacking at the same time. So I'm just going to do a quick demo, side-by-side -side strategy of what that actually looks like. For that, I'm going to use my other instructor, Victrum. Right? So he takes a fighting stance. I'm going to be standing from here. His first arm is low, using the T's, just coming in. OK, now the next one is going to be working off of his attack. So. He's going to be standing, fighting. I'm going to be working off of it as he throws. All right? Throw. All right? Throw. Working off. Some of it could be also waiting as he throws, taking a longer time to come with it. Same technique now, attacking at the same time. I'm going to take this position as he throws, lining up. You see? He throws. Throws. <laughs> okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like us, give us a thumbs up, and be ready for future videos. If you want to see more, you can come to the website, the podcast, or our Facebook page. You can find the, you can find the links in the description below. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. Thank you. Two!